Hello everybody and welcome back! My name is the Game Shark, and today we have episode 4 of our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Let's start with a quick party recap. As you know, we have the stone of our team, the rock, our mecha, the sassy war turtle. Finally got water pulse from Misty last episode. If you missed it, go back and check it out. Uh, we're rocking bite and secret power on him as well. Um, we are also rocking Birdman, our Pidgeotto, level 20. Um, hoping to get a couple better moves on him soon, but Gust and Quick Attack are doing the job just well so far. Level 17, Rocky, our Geodude, Rock Throw, Rock Two, Mega Punch, and Magnitude. Uh, and then we also got our level 18, Oddium, uh, the lady on our team, Jolly Natured Oddish. That's actually really good. That's really good. I think, is Jolly the, um, I think Jolly, maybe not. Maybe not. It looks like Jolly might lower speed I'm not sure but we we threw bullet speed on her she has absorb poison powder sleep powder uh, and then we also got our Nagini Nagini sorry uh, calm nature Ekans the poison type Pokemon with shed skin uh, finally got poison sting last episode unfortunately she hasn't seen oh my fault almost forgot about Mickey Mouse the Rattata hasty um, he's there he's got that hyper fang he is there but yeah, Nagini, not seeing too much uh, time last episode, just kind of switch training her. Um, but I think we're going to throw Adium at the front of the party for today. And we are going to exit Cerulean City. It's been real. Um, we will be coming back here shortly. This is uh, where you get the bike. But first things first, let's talk to this guy. Those miserable rockets! Look what they've done to my house! They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes! I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle it did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not this guy. Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander! Don't you believe me? You seem suspicious, pal. Not gonna lie. So Team Rocket Grunt wants to go with his two Pokemon. He's got a level 17 Machop. We're not too worried about that at all. Um, we'll give him the Poison Powder. And then we'll see what he goes for, but either Bullet Seed or the Absorb will do just fine, I'm sure. Uh, we have that Poison Secondary Typing, so we'll um, resist any Fighting Type move he can give us. First bullet seed does. Ah, it's alright, damage. Oh, we could hopefully get a lot more. Maybe a crit would help. Gonna go for the low kick. Not gonna do much at all. That's why we went for the poison, though. To get that damage off. Alright, we're working him here. Um, and I realize that Audium does have that poison secondary typing, and the bullet seed. Nice. Goes for four hits. Knocks out the Machop. Um, but yeah, with that poison secondary typing, kind of makes me wonder if we really need that Ekans in the party. Um, let me know down below what you guys think. Uh, should we keep Ekans? I like that. I haven't seen an Arbok in like any Let's Plays. Like, I try to think. I don't know anybody that's used an Arbok, so that kind of makes me want to use it. But, but, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta think about what's best for the team. So let me know down below what we should do, guys. Alright. He's gonna go for his Drowsy. I'm going to go for Magnitude, see what we can do. Sable won't do anything, because he went first. Magnitude 8. Maybe that'll do some serious damage here. Drowsy's kind of bulky, though, I think. Yeah, kind of bulky. See if we can't get a Rock Throw. Gonna go for the Confusion. That should do pretty good damage. Not enough. Not enough. Rocky shows him who's boss. Gets the experience. This guy's toast. Stop! I'll give up! I'll leave quietly! Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Gee, I'm pretty sure I just gave that guy three different voices. I better get moving, bye! So, I'm pretty sure he just gives it. Yeah, we're just gonna keep dig. See who can learn it real quick. It's a pretty good move. It does take two turns though. 
Wow, quite a few people. Um, I kind of like Raticate with a dig. That might be kind of cool. Uh, we'll get rid of Tackle. Alright. Dig's pretty good. Um, it's good to have ground-type moves, especially this early in the game. Alright, let's press on. Wow. Gonna get down here to the daycare, which will have a brand new encounter for us. Route 5. Here we go. Who do we have in the front? Alright, we can lead with Oddish, put him to sleep. Finally caught a Pokemon that'll help us catch other Pokemon, which is nice. Um, and I know there's Meowth in this route. So... And there we go. Male Meowth. I actually like Meowth. Um, obviously, a lot of people know Meowth from the anime. It's like the only Pokemon that can talk, which is kind of worth noting. Um, obviously just from the anime. Uh, but yeah, kind of a cool Pokemon. He has the pickup ability, which will allow him to just grab random items while you walk throughout the game. So it's actually going to be beneficial if we have this Meowth in our party. Because they could pick up any random items from potions all the way to... Ooh, caught a crit. All the way to TMs. So I think we will have him in our party just to see if he can't pick a few things up for us. And we got him. Not bad. Not bad at all. All it does is sleep during the daytime. At night, it patrols its territory with its eyes aglow. Alright. So, we got Garfield the Meowth. Level 14 is pretty darn good, too. Um, kind of wishing I didn't just give Dig to that Rattata. <laughs> but that's alright. Uh, let's check this Meowth out real quick. Oh! We're going to have to go to the daycare center to check him out. Okay. Oh. I wanted to just go to move Pokemon. Alright. Decent looking box here. Um, bashful nature. Does have that pickup ability. Has bite as well. Yeah, I think we're going to swap him out for the Rattata. Is he holding anything? Not yet. Alright, we'll just keep an eye on him, see if he does. Uh, should we give any Pokemon to this guy? You know what? Maybe Nagini for now. Maybe Nagini for now. You can't raise two, can you? Alright, so we'll get out of here, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we want to do with Nagini. Um, like I said, it, I think it's kind of cool that you don't see many Arbox, so let me know what you guys think. And we are going to continue down, we're going to try and go to Vermilion City, um, I'm not sure how far we'll get in today's episode, but um, we might get all the way to the SSN. And if that's the case, there's quite a bit going on in the SSN. So here's Route 6. This is a new uh, new route here. Let's see what we can find. You know, I'm pretty sure there's nothing new here for us to catch. But there is water. So technically, yeah, there is water. So we'll fight these trainers. And then I think we're going to have to come back out here when we get the Super Rod, since we already have Magikarp. The old rod only catches Magikarp, so that won't do us any good. And we're going to switch out to our Pidgeotto Birdman here. Teach these bugs a quick lesson. Not afraid of a String Shot, especially from Weedle. 
Ruka should do a nice bit of damage. It was a crit, just for good measure. Uh, has another Weedle. Like, what's the point? This late in the game, you're gonna have a Weedle? <laughs> Come on, man. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you enjoy the video so far, smash that like button. And if uh, you have any questions for me, don't be afraid to leave questions in the comment section. Uh, like I like to say, this is our channel. So, um, I want this to be a community for all of us. You know, I want this to be something we can all contribute to. Um, but in order to do that, we need to talk to one another. So, don't be afraid to throw me some questions in that comment section. Let's see what these two are up to. Who's there? Quit listening on us. Alright, what are you guys talking about? That stance. Camper Ricky. Squirtle. Wow. Cool Pokemon. Um, and I'm thinking... Camper Dan will probably be on the SSN with his dad, right? <laughs> He's the one that told us uh, in the last episode that his dad likes to take us on the SSN. Kind of thought he was bragging. He rubbed me the wrong way. Wasn't a fan of Dan. Or maybe it was Youngster Dan? I forget, but... That guy was lame. Alright. And... Love Squirtle, but unfortunately... He's just no match for... Our... Audium. Ooh, critical hit bubble, though. Audium with the bullet seed. Maybe I should have been going for Observes by now. Get some health back. Probably should have been the call. Oh well. This should take him out and be a whole lot of experience for Audium. 282. And should go probably well into half of 19 as well. Wow, that's it. I guess he's getting up there then. Let's talk to your girlfriend. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Sorry. You want to battle? those stances, I swear. So she's got a Rattata. We just boxed ours. Let's see if... One, oh, a Hyper Fang. Good thing that wasn't a crit. Good thing that wasn't a crit. We would have turned right back around and grabbed Nagini. Um, I'm going to use a potion. I'm going to use a potion. Goes for the Tail Whip. Which means we're free to go for the Absorb. Gets a Tackle off. Not going to do enough. Now I feel more comfortable to play the slow game with this Rattata here. Because that Hyper Fin could crit. Jeez, that does a lot of damage. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to play it risky. He goes for the Tail Whip. And he goes for the Tail Whip. And basically ruins any chance of winning that battle. That's one thing about the AI in these games. Um, I mean, there's not much you can do around it. Some ROM hacks are pretty good at making the AI a little better, the computer a little stronger. Um, I'm sure we'll be getting some uh, Let's Plays of ROM hacks on this channel very soon. Rock Pro did really nice damage. Probably should have went for the Magnitude. <laughs> but Rock Throw did just enough. His Evasiveness Rose. That's scary. Alright. That could have been a long one. He could have been hard to hit with a couple more of those up. Rocky to level 18. That's our guy looking nice and strong. That super high attack, super high defense. So we're going to continue. So many bug catchers. I've never seen you around, are you good? Yeah, pretty good, I think. We got two gym badges. We haven't lost any Pokemon. We're not too bad. Elijah with the Butterfree. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to mess around with this thing too much. And Garfield already picked us up an item. I'll have to check out what that is before uh, before we get to Vermilion City. Hits us with the Sleep Powder. 
that is annoying, but should be fine. Pidgeotto should be bulky enough to take out anything this Butterfree can dish out. Oh, man. Goes for the Supersonic. Uh, that sucks. I hate being confused. I hate being anything in this game. Poison, paralyzed, confused, asleep, burnt, frozen, anything. It's all super annoying. Hopefully we can get this gust off. This will be huge. Okay. Alright, one more gust should do the trick then. It's the stun sport, so now we're, we're parafused here. Oh man, this Butterfree. So, now we need to break through the confusion and the paralyze, which we do knock this Butterfree out of town. Good show for Birdman there. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. You're too good. True that, homie. True that. We're gonna press on. Two more trainers before Vermilion. Let's see how we're looking before we get too far. Ah, this is alright, I guess. Let's see what Garfield has. He picked up a Rostberry. And you know, that kind of is mostly what he's going to grab is berries. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes berries come in handy. And, I mean, there's a chance that we could get TMs, like I said. So, we're going to keep him around for a while. See if he can't help the team in other ways than just battling. So this trainer is going to lead with a Pidgey, which will lead us to go to our Geodude Rocky. Uh, quick sand attack, which sucks because now our accuracy is lowered. We'll see if this rock throw still can't hit though. Gus doesn't do anything. Rock throw does land, should KO. Goodbye, Pidgey. What else you got? A Pidgey. We'll stay in. Even though our accuracy is already lowered. Hopefully we can get lucky and hit this rock throw here. We do. Rocky's got glasses on. He don't miss. Nice. And another Pidgey. She really liked Pidgeys. Another sand attack. Alright, that's two accuracies down now. But, uh, that's alright, Rocky. That's alright. See, the Pidgey just can't do anything to us, so it's... It's alright to miss, but this Rocky's impatient. He's just gonna hit this Pidgey no matter what. That's our guy. Alright, one more trainer. Huh? You wanna talk to me? Uh, no, I was actually just gonna go to Vermilion. I'm pretty sure you talk to me, buddy. Camper Jeff. He's got a Spearow. Which once again will lead us to Rocky. Um, hopefully, Audium can level up with this switch out here. Peck won't do anything. Put out the rock throw. Um, Growl sucks, but that should be alright. We should still be strong enough to knock him out. We are. Let's see what happens to Audium here. Alright, not enough. Raticate. We're going to go back out to Audium. See if we can't grab that quick level. Yeah. Yeah, we'll switch her out. We'll switch her out with Mecha. Just for good measure. And we'll make quick work of this Raticate. Even though, ooh, and this is the first time we'll get to see Water Pulse. Nice animation. Very nice animation. Hyper Fang. That's all a stab Hyper Fang from Eradicate does to Mecha. I mean, I guess he's eight levels over, but still. But still. And it costs. Mecha just hits so hard with those crits. He throws the biggest fists. Audium to level 20. Mecha gets experience. When does uh, Audish uh, evolve? Hopefully soon. Uh, so here we are, finally, in Vermilion City. We're going to heal up real quick. What do you want? Um. Oh, Verse Seeker. Use that device and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize they had that in this gen. 
Um, so here we go. We're going to heal up our party. And I kind of like just having five Pokemon for now. We, um, we don't need a whole party. We're just fine. Um, I don't really know why, but I'm just going to grab the old rod. Um, for nothing else but to show you guys who don't know, this is where you get the old rod. Unfortunately, it won't do anything for us because it can only catch Magikarp, and we already have a Magikarp. So, no duplicates. Um, but we are going to go ahead and... Um, I don't know if we should go on the SSN just yet. I think we're going to continue east first. Let's re-up on some Pokeballs here. How are we looking on Super Potions? We're looking good. We're looking good, we're looking good. There's a few repels. And yeah, 